Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us as we track severe cyclone Donna, which is currently near New Caledonia and heads on down towards the New Zealand area. Here's the latest wind map. You can see Donna up here, it's still a major storm, tracking down towards Noumea and the eastern side of New Caledonia. Latest guidance does shift it a little bit further away from that big city, which is great news. There's another low up there to the east of Fiji. We don't have to worry about that at the moment. It's not expected to develop into anything serious for us. There's a big high just over the North Island that is slowly starting to move away and that's the reason why Donna can start to move south and there's a big low in the Tasman. It looks worse than it is but it's producing some heavy rain. So as a CNN affiliate here is our latest information on Donna and as you can see the winds have actually dropped just a little bit. Yesterday got up to 260 k's as for the gusts and winds were averaging 210 so it certainly weakened just a little bit overnight but to be honest with you if you're on the ground being hit by it it won't make any difference at all. But it's lost its eye, it doesn't have that perfect eye to it so it's either just going through a bit of a restructure or my thoughts are probably that it's weakening a little bit now that it's starting to move southwards, still tracking along at 15 kilometres an hour, which is pretty fast. It's moving away from the tropics now and things will start to slowly, very slowly unwind. But the rain is still intense. You can see the middle of the system going to track through these islands just north of New Caledonia, part of New Caledonia itself. Uh, there's around about, you know, 10 to 15,000 people I think living in this area and that's directly in the path of Donna as it tracks by. Pretty intense rain, you're getting up around the 250 to 500 millimetres worth as the system goes through but if it's moving through at 15 to 20 kilometres an hour then it hopefully won't linger too long. And here is the tracking, you can see it goes right over those islands and then it heads southeast over the next couple of days tracking towards New Zealand and the winds will be uh, in that area, this is obviously what it is at the moment but it will weaken as it starts to leave uh, the tropical area. So what does it mean for us? Well here's Friday's animated wind map. This isn't the current one, this is coming up this Friday lunchtime. That's Donna just there. But Donna's actually going to deepen once it passes New Zealand and that's quite normal. They lose their cyclone status about this area, they then transition into a whole new system and that's what's going to happen. So this is lunchtime Friday, you watch what happens lunchtime Saturday. Whole new storm system out to the east and that then drives in stronger winds along the eastern side here and pushes back some big swells as well. So this is the weather forecast for lunchtime Friday. You can see that low coming in, it's a deep storm and it's deepening as it comes down our way. It'll weaken up in this area and then it deepens again as it starts to get a cold centre to it. So we are expecting some pretty heavy rain and strong uh, winds but only in this area here. This other rain band you can see over New Zealand is actually from that low you just saw in the Tasman Sea. They're two different systems that are joining forces around about there and then on Saturday look what happens. It forms into an entirely new system. So what we call Donna Mark II. And this one could be a big storm down into the 960 hectopascal range possibly, driving in some very strong winds. Uh, the Chatham Islands will be hit by this and there might be some big swells for the surfers but it might be pretty dangerous as well so just keep up to date. This is still a couple of days away and it might shift closer or further away. Donna is proving to be a little bit tricky with the precise forecasting. That is all from me for today, we'll update you again on Wednesday with the very latest. <laughs>